Right, we all know I love a Glock, okay? So let me just get this out here right now. That is not a Glock. It's a flock. A fake Glock. Ha! So this is it people, um, who the hell are Vorsk? Apparently something to do with Nupro. Now I've never had a Vorsk before, I must say nice looking box, however it is missing that sleeve that gives you information about the contents, so that's pretty poor. But anyway, let's get this off, um, see what we get, okay, oh wow, you seem to get a lot. Now normally I would say that's brilliant, but sometimes that can ring alarm bells. Why? Because when you get lots of extras, what does that mean about the actual pistol itself? Take a closer look. I have to admit, it really does look sweet. So the first thing you are greeted with is they give you a Vorsk patch. Nice. You get a Vorsk exploded diagram and you get a very high quality bit of card. Now to call this an instruction manual would be a bit of a push, okay? But it does give you all the basics, mainly in images of what you need to do to get this bad boy up and running. But I can't get over how, look at it. It's all beautiful and glossy, look. Um, so they've really put a lot of money into just that. Just those three things right there, okay? Don't get me started with all the other extras you get with this pistol. It's absolutely fantastic and appears to be a bargain. But is the pistol itself trashy? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. So, let's just start over here. That's cool. You get a blue nozzle. You get an alternative set of sights. Now, I say alternative, but it is what you would expect to find on a even though this isn't a, um, wow. And it keeps coming. You get all these spear O-rings. Wow, look, and it keeps coming, look. You get a little tool that is branded by Vos, and I believe this is for your thread adapter. And we still haven't got to the pistol yet. Move in. <laughs> you also get a set of back straps. Oh my gosh, the amount of accessories you get with this is amazing. Okay, cool, you get two back straps and a back strap pin. Okay, finally, we get to the pistol itself. So let me just first grab the mag. And you know what, on first looks, this looks like a WeTech. But to be fair, it is branded with Vorsk and your gas valve is there. Now, when you take into consideration all of this, you must be thinking to yourself, what great value for money. And then when you look at the pistol itself, you can see it's not a standard one. It looks like one of those upgraded ones with your flared magwell and your vented slide and your this and your that. Let's get it out of the box. Oh, I've got to admit, this really does look the business. Let's just, uh, complete that picture and this is what I'm talking about it really does look like a custom um, one of these and uh, yeah looks awesome first thing though you see on the top right there that is a thin piece of film you got to get that off before you start firing it lovely look at that looking decent I'm loving that sort of brushed chrome look about it and would you look at the vents and look at that outer barrel oh gorgeous but again is this just style over substance but anyway let's go through this let's start you off with that grip you've got some uh texturing there or stippling you've got your Vorsk logo right there there's your mag release on the grip going towards the back strap 
Again, same sort of texturing. And you remember that pin I showed you earlier on? That's if you were to put on larger back straps. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like this mag well, you can take it off. And then at the back of the pistol, you've got a very high sitting fiber optic style sight. And then if you look down the slide, you've got your front sight. So right there, you've got your slide lock or slide catch and release. Then you've got your serrations right there. That makes it a lot easier to rack that slide. And what I really love about this model, look, it's got one of them plates just sitting there, ready and waiting for a red dot sight. Nice. And there, look, just like a, you've got your two stage safety trigger. And then just like a, you've got your takedown levers. And then here you have your lower rail. And unlike a reel, you've got your safety switch. And then right here on both sides, you've got a bit more texturing, which is where you would rest your trigger finger if you're not firing this bad boy. And then as we get to the business end, you have your thread adapter cover or muzzle device. Can come right off, which is pretty handy because it leaves your pistol ready to take on a mock suppressor or tracer unit. If you've got a mock suppressor or a tracer unit and it won't go on this, you just simply remove your thread adapter and Bob's your uncle. Right now, let's bring it right on back to this gorgeous CNC'd machined slide. I mean, look at that gorgeousness. And the fact that it's got all those cutouts on there so you can see that even more gorgeous fluted outer barrel. Let me just bring that on in so you can see right there some very nice Vorsk markings. So right there you can see it says Vorsk EU17, six millimeter. And then right there, what have we got? It looks like some sort of um, serial number. Again, it's got the model there too. Very nice. Absolutely loving this slide. And look at that outer barrel. This truly is a beautiful piece of kit. Let's have a closer look at the outer barrel. Absolutely love that and loving the cutouts right there to the point where you can see the gold in a barrel there. And at your ejection port, you can see that blue nozzle. And as I showed you earlier, they give you a spare one of those. Let's take a look under the hood. <laughs> Mag out. And there you go. There are your internals of the slide. And I tell you what, looks pretty decent. And there's your hop-up adjustment wheel just there. There's that blue nozzle again. You get a spare one. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Okay, let's get it ready for an accuracy test and chrono. And like I showed you before, there's your gas valve. Okay, mag loaded. Let's just make sure this works. Pap, pap, that is decent. What a snappy little beast. And what a kick. Got my eye pro on. Wow, <laughs> it started off at about what? What was that, 320 or 321? Something like that, anyway. Um, yeah, and then it just gradually went down and down and down. Do you know what? This is the first time I'm gonna do something like this. I'm not gonna go straight to the accuracy test. I'm gonna keep firing and see if this will literally keep going down with every shot. Oh, back up. Back down. Yeah, so 
so basically, I see what's going on here. This bad boy, I think as the mag gets colder, the performance drops just a little bit, which is normal with a lot of mags. And then if you noticed, when I had that tiny little interlude where I said a few words to you and then continued firing through the chrono, it went back up again. So yeah, I'm gonna probably give this about, what, 300? on the old FPS. And I tell you what, whilst I'm here, um, I'm gonna see how many rounds this bad boy actually holds. Because if you go around on different websites and different parts of the internet, there's not a conclusive answer as to how many BBs you can fit in this mag. Now I filled it to its capacity, I believe. I'm up to 15 shots, so I'm gonna keep firing until we're out, okay? Oh, there you go, 19. Okay, remember earlier on, I let off two shots there before I did the chrono. So technically, 21 rounds, maybe 22 at a push. I still can't believe this pistol with all those accessories for the price this comes in at. Pretty much the same price as a WeTech. Hmm, WeTech? Well, I hope it's not a Raven. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I've got a few more BBs left in there, less than half, and um, I'm out of gas. So we are looking at about mm, a mag and a half, possibly up to two mags worth of BBs before you have to refill it with gas again. Now there's probably one in the chamber. Actually, no, cool. Let me just lock that slide open because I wanna check if you can power stroke. Yeah, baby! Okay, let's have a look at the results. As you can see there, pretty tight. And then on this one, if you look carefully, you can see that shot tore into the center. So that too is a... Perfect. And then there are my results on the final portion right there. Yeah, we're good. So I can safely say, hold on, that's a bit sticky. <laughs> okay, that's better. I can safely say you get two mags worth of BBs before you run out of gas. Decent. Ish. <laughs> because I know one or two pistols where you will get a bit more out of your mags. But hey, what are my initial thoughts on this Vorsk EU? 17. The vented chrome version. Now if this isn't your bag, they do it in many different flavours. Now as much as I love this bad boy, there are one or two negatives for me. Um, it's a bit rattly and it gets even worse when you take out the mag and it gets even worse when you lock the slide back Hmm, that's a bit shabby. Absolutely love the look of this. If you're tired of glocks or flocks, 
something like this will be a nice change. Beautiful premium look. Um, as far as performance is concerned, yeah, I'd put this on the same level as your average WeTech. Um, I don't think this will be as bad as a Raven. <laughs> um, not as good as the official Glocks. Um, and nowhere near as good as the Tokyo Marui. And there is one other little negative for me. I found that the slide was a bit sticky. You saw that earlier on. Yeah, maybe that will sort itself out after a little while. But as far as what you're getting in terms of usability, looks, and what you get in the box, it would be pretty difficult to find something else with this much value for money. As long as it doesn't fall apart in two weeks time. Ha! Thanks for watching. Catch me next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel. And if you want to know where you can buy this from, go to Google, type in Vorsk EU, and you'll get a vast array of different Vorsk pistols. And guess what? They do this in the 18 too, so you can go full auto. Ha! I'll catch you next time.